agenda with everyone please rise for the invocation given by our wonderful Reverend Bonnie Pauley, Christ Episcopal Church, and remain standing for our pledge. Good morning. Good morning. Let us pray. Most gracious God, accept our thanks for this new day and for the many blessings. power of love overcomes the love of power. Amen. The city in memory of the most beautiful, diminutive, but biggest heart lady, Bonnie Pauly, that we would dedicate the tree closest to the door, the only one that's dedicated to Bonnie Paul. I think about all the lives that Bonnie Polly had the privilege to touch over the 40 years inside the Clark County Detention Center. Not only mine, but the countless other lives. And I know, as well as everybody else in this room, when God called her home, he said the words to her, well done, good and faithful servant. I uh, unfortunately did not know uh, Reverend Polly except for the time she came to city council. Um, but I have read about her, I have read the kind words that have been written about her and everything that has uh, gone on. So it is, uh, it is with great pride that uh, I work with Mayor Goodman in making this, making this happen. Over 40 years, thousands and thousands of lives that she has touched and changed. How many uh, ceremonies, graduating academies from patrol and corrections that she gave blessings to at their graduations, um, they'll never be the same. To me, it's a fitting tribute. There's no statue of mom. There's a tree. People can come and they have their coffee and be under the, in this shadow. And I just feel so uh, touched and appreciative of your efforts to make this happen. While there is this tree, there is life. While we are here on foot and serving as mom served and encouraged by her witness, there is hope, and I, I will take that uh, to wherever she is and with Dad and with uh, all those that we love but see no longer. Nancy Byrne here. I hope you enjoyed that story. For more great stories about the city of Las Vegas, don't forget to click on that box.